this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI! Where today, we get to continue trying to free South Figaro by stealing clothes from all of the soldiers around here, one at a time. I wonder if we can steal Magitek armor that way. No, no, we can't. But we needed to steal clothes from that green soldier that I pointed out earlier, so there we go. Aren't you a little short for a soldier? Lock? Eh? Oh, whatever. But anyway, we needed to get them from the green soldier here. Uh, someone... I forget where. I could have sworn someone tells you that green soldiers like to brawl or fight a lot or something. And that's how you're supposed to know to fight them. But... To get their clothes. But I don't know. I couldn't find it. Oh, no! We gotta stop him. Let's go over here. Now, we could just go be below that little stream here, but this is how you're supposed to get through here. Just get in the soldier's uniform and relieve him of his post. So there you are. Anyone else have anything useful to say? No, no, not really. I don't think I want to talk to the Magitek armor. I'm not going to chance it. Let's see what's going on in the cafe here. Yeah, cafe. <laughs> More like a bar, at least. Huh, they got one of their own generals. I guess that's good, because now that's one less general for us to deal with. How do we get to those hidden tunnels? I mean, I know they're under the mansion, but I mean, how do we get there? Oh, come on. There we go. Stupid pathing algorithms. Yeah, I want you your cider, you jerk! Get him, Lock. Yeah. Ooh, we got a guardian knife. Uh, not that I care, but eh. It's better than a plume tat, but I only really needed to steal one additional plume tat from what I already had for later. Ha ha. I'm the uh, caped clothes stealer, or something like that. There's a thief running loose, and he's stealing people's clothes. Whatever shall we do? Oh, we're occupied. Right. Yeah, maybe we should worry about other things. Anyway, I need to steal his clothes to become a merchant again to pass back through here to give the man his cider. Or booze. Whatever you want to call it. And don't open any of the chests or things, objects, barrels uh, that I avoided earlier, because they don't contain better stuff yet. Oh, okay. So how do we get there? Oh, you jerk. You don't even remember your own password. <laughs> well, anyway, what we gotta do is we have to guess, and it's courage. So, it always is. It's not like they randomize it like in Final Fantasy VII. But, yeah. Okay, so now we gotta go through this secret passage. Alright, so that's how we get up here. Yeah, we can't get that soldier out of the way of the house. So let's just go up through here. Yay! What is that thing to the right there with all those barrels in the water there? I've seen that, like, in real life before, but I have no idea what it does. Well, that's not good. What's going on? Oh, they had an informant in here, huh? People are betraying, uh... Well, I guess their own town. I was gonna say the returners, but... No, not really. I guess they don't care. Oh, they like playing around, and... You are on babysitting duty, soldier. Yeah, great job. Something about winding a clock, huh? That's weird. Huh, what's that sound? Oh, so he was a traitor. That's what he was writing that letter about. Yeah, you get over here, the wind gets a little louder. I don't know if you can hear it, viewers, but there it is. Oh, now we get some music. That was getting a little eerie back there, you know? Yeah, let's change our clothes here. Okay, I just thought we'd change our clothes because, well, we don't need them anymore. Er, <laughs> no, no, we don't need our, our merchant clothes anymore. Yeah, yeah, we don't need any of our clothes anymore. We're just going to walk around this place naked. That's great. Now, Your Highness, we will discuss the location of your hidden rebel base. No, no, it's, uh, General, the, the traitor to the Empire. Celis! 
And for some reason, they decided to give her blonde hair and not Tara. Now, in the Game Boy Advance version, they censored this scene, actually. The part where they're beating her up and all that stuff. I mean, oh, well, that's terrible. But yeah, I mean, they, they removed it. I, I thought I heard, like, there were some kidnappings in Japan or something at the time the Game Boy Advance version was released. So they took this par part of this scene out, which is like, whoa, I mean, the Japanese, they never censor anything. They got balls. But, yeah. How oh, there we are. I was going to say, how are we going to rescue her? But uh, just hide up here. There you go. Yeah, let's rescue her. I mean, she's a traitor. Absolutely. They don't even show her in her chains in the Game Boy Advance version either, as I recall. Will you join me? Come on, let's get out of here. Yeah. Well, perhaps you'd like it back in your cell, your highness. Oh, well, that's just great. Excuse me, princess. Trust me, I can protect you. I'm just a thief. I came here off to... I came here off the street. Oh, okay. Yeah, we might want to uh, check it out. Oh, he's got a clock key. Sure, why not? Whoa! Ha ha ha! Oh, gotta love the emotes. Even for Salas. Yeah, you can avoid sleep for days. Good job. Yeah, I should uh, get, get some equipment for Salas there. So, uh... Yeah, let's rearrange the party a little bit. I want lock in the front row now, so I'll in the back row and rearrange some stuff. Okay, we're all set and ready to go. Let's just take a look at our equipment here. Uh, essentially, uh, now I've got lock on his really good stuff. Atlas Armlet and Genji Glove, one of my favorite relic combinations for a lot of the game, really, because we don't get much better stuff for uh, guys who use their physical attacks, because most other people don't, but Locke's one of the few. So keep him in the front row there with two weapons like that. That's amazing. Celis, just basically whatever the best stuff I've still got is. So, And, uh, yeah, I don't have any really good relics for her yet. So we'll get some good stuff for her soon enough, though. And we've got a save point here. If you're playing the advanced version, you really need a save point. So there you are. Now, remember that nursery rhyme we were told about? Uh, wind the clock, wind the clock. Let's see, that one's working okay. We got a clock card. I don't know how a clock card's supposed to work, but, well, there you are. Let's wind the clock. Okay, there we are. Now we can get out of here. Uh-oh, and there's some monsters around here, so... Will we be able to make our escape with Celis? Or will we meet an untimely doom before getting out of here? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VI! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.